Good morning, church. I reach out this morning in grief and anger, a feeling of helplessness, and in a spirit of prayer, holding the knowledge that CLF member and child of God, Kelly Gissendaner, was executed last night. Kelly was one of our prison members. She did something very wrong. Years ago, she helped orchestrate the killing of someone. And she turned her life around. She felt deep remorse. And she worked very hard to get it right, to live with accountability and purpose. She was engaged in a number of CLF classes and our book project. She went to seminary at Emory University while she was in prison. She became very aware of how badly she had behaved and she did everything in her power to try to reconcile, to find justice and restoration, knowing that she had helped to kill the father of her children. Now her children have no parents and they grieve. We reach out to them in prayer and we say in the words of Mother Jones that we pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living. May we create a country where we understand that justice is about reconciliation, accountability, and right relationship, and that taking another life will never bring back nor create justice for a life that's been taken. Feeling it with you. I'm going to put up a song by CLF musician's brother's son singing Mose Allison's Everybody's Crying Mercy, which this morning has brought me some measure of companionship in my journey. <laughs> 